Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. This is Stacy, and today is Wednesday, December the 7th, and Wednesdays are for the finishes. And so today we're going to have uh, quite a few different takeoffs for and explanations on how we prepare the takeoff for various finishes. And today we're going to, in this video, we're going to focus on the ceiling finishes. Okay, so in any set of construction documents you always want to take a look at well, of course all the sheets within the set but on this cover sheet we have uh, where is it we have the responsibility no we don't we have it here uh, we have the responsibility chart and with the responsibility chart because we are working with finishes that could be uh, all of the different like here metal trims and pre-finished metal and uh, all of the things that could be see and this is a box tower storefront finish system but whatever it is because it's finishes you need to look on the responsibility chart and look to see if right who's furnishing it and who's installing it and so that's really important for all of the trades really you know like drywall framing you know the GC or the GC subs are going to be doing that but when it comes to the lighting package and some of the HVAC stuff you know depending on the size of the uh, franchise like a McDonald's they have a central supplier where they get everything from so you want to look and make sure that you're going to supply and install or just install which I always like so um, so you want to look there first and then as far as ceiling finish right we're gonna look at the reflective ceiling plan and so on that well we want to look at the finish schedule so let's find where that is so when I never know I go here and I look for the finish schedule door schedule responsibility to do here so a 5.01 so let's find out 701 oh I already wrote it I already got it okay so the finish schedule we want to take a look at all of the finishes all of the finishes should be on the finish schedule but it's not but we know what they are from here okay and so we're going to for our ceilings Oh no, we're actually looking for the finish schedule. Okay, so we're gonna have to find it. Is this it? No. Okay, let's go back. So here, finish schedule. Any of the finishes? See, and every set of construction documents is different. Here we go. Alright, so on our ceiling, 
still doesn't tell us what. So the finished schedule, the room number, the location, and what we have. That's the door schedule. No, we don't. We found it. Okay. <sighs> Victoria's Secret. Just like, didn't I say, I think in the beginning I said it was a pain in the butt, just like all of the Starbucks plans. Oh, and I have a special treat. I have a medical marijuana facility set of plans. That's the, oh, that's the uh, golden ticket right there. Everybody wants to know how they're built. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, so all of the finishes, yeah, 10,000 different paints. And so for our wall finish one, yeah, we need really good interior elevations. Okay, so for ceiling finishes, we have two. And I know me going in and out probably drives you nuts with this mouse. But that's part of the deal here. All right, so we have ACT1, ACT7. I'm strong, so we know we got to call those folks. And then the cost book, uh, let's do this. There is something here, uh, tile, and we'll do ceiling. And remember, in uh, if you're using the Craftsman cost book, all of the 300, 400s, those are commercial prices. All the hundreds and lower, that's for residential. So you, we do price stuff stuff a lot different based on if it's a commercial facility or it's a home. So keep that in mind. All right, so all of the, and I hope you can see this. Yeah, it, it's, well, let me get that down. Da, 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 da. You know, I'm as old as Bill Gates, and I never... You know, newfangled stuff with it. I had a brick phone. What can I say? All right, so now we can take a look. At, I, you know, I do uh, the uh, sheets, right, to tell you, help you f figure out the man hours. Okay, but just take a, a look. Okay, so ceiling tile, we can either have two by two or two by four. And it is priced. We have to price the grid. Or the grid we have, well, I never do four by four I have never seen four by four and I've never seen two by six but um, two by two grid so it's priced separately all right per square foot and the man hour unit for the two by two point zero one one point zero one one what's that mean that means that it's point zero one one of a man hour or of an hour to install two by two grid one square foot it's always per unit so if you have a thousand move the decimal point over what three times right that's why we make the sheets we just fill a zillion sheets with all of this stuff so all you have to do is put in the total and see this is the price based on wherever I have the cost book at this moment Ohio per square foot so and this is the labor and cost and money right and so for your ceiling tile you're gonna price the grid separate from the tile it's, as you can see is different labor rates for the tile everything in construction has a labor rate associated with it you just have to know what it is all right and if it had an equipment cost associated with which it does I mean you know basically you got to have a ladder or lift or whatever right you're gonna do that separate they're not gonna show that here because you don't need equipment to put the tile in basically according to this right in real life you don't all right and so that's that and two if you notice add for jobs under 5,000 square feet remember this is our commercial thing here right so if we have less than 2,500 square feet we're going to add additional material and labor and then uh over da 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 we're gonna add that so those are things to keep in mind for commercial pretty much 2500 uh, square feet is like the minimum for something like 
acoustical ceiling tile or else you gotta charge more for more, more you know it's more of a hassle when the area is is a smaller area so keep that in mind all right so that is that so uh this we have the two by four and two by two two different ones so we saw how we could price it and I think these are even noted in the cost book. These are standard Dune and all of that. Okay, so we go to, so we know what the finish is. And then it, any other finish has to be uh, gypsum, right? Or open to the ceiling, pretty much. Okay, so we go back. And so we know this is the ACT7. And we can look at it and tell it's two by two. But here, so again, it's either we're going to put the acoustical ceiling tile or we're painting. Okay, and in this case, as you can tell, these are uh, probably a, a soffit or maybe, maybe this represents the door opening because it's telling us that paint, you know, all those zillion different paints. And so when you're doing this, you want to make sure you do your takeoff based on your paint too because because it, they do have a zillion different paints uh let's see so you have the cove pocket okay good so let's look at that because there's going to be like a soffit situation going on right here so we need to look at l because not only do we have finishes right so finishes on a ceiling can be the acoustical ceiling tile it could be well, gypsum board is a finish, but we're not talking about drywall right now, but we're do, we are talking about paint, right? And so you have to paint the ceiling, and you need to be mindful of the section views you have in the ceiling, because if this is a, like, uh, a pocket, cove pocket, then I need to see how it's built, because chances are it goes vertically down, and so I have to count for the paint on the vertical portions of this. So let's see if we can find L12... 01 12.01 L where are we right now that's quite a ways down 12 see I already forgot 12.01 <laughs> but I think we're looking for L when there's a B see we got a lot of them but we'll look at 12.01 L 12.01 oops we went all the way oh there's deal 2 L okay so L's going to show us pocket okay that makes sense so at that section we have additional drywall of this times the length of that section and uh, just on one side so those times the length and that area is still the same area we see on the reflective ceiling plan but we just need to add what four inches eight inches in terms of square feet of additional paint and that's good for the drywall too that's a good exercise for the drywall too okay so eight inches where we saw that eight uh, L eight inches times the length is the additional square feet of and when I say eight this is four that's four so it's eight eight inches times the length is the additional square feet of that paint you need to calculate. So every one of these section views, well, no, maybe not on this page, but you know you got to follow all of those section views so you make sure you're doing your paint takeoff properly. So where's the L? Here's the L. So it's that 8 inches times all of this. All this is L. See? L is that whole thing. Okay, and until it tells me something different, that's L2. Okay, so 8 inches times all of that length is the additional square feet of paint you need to calculate. In addition to the flat area, so are these all, these is, is all L's too, I believe, so. All right, so ceiling. Now we just need to uh, make sure you, you are to scale. 3 sixteenths. 
yes and we're doing a lot today so we're going to start to stream live in about four minutes so guess what this is going to end in about four minutes all right because i got to make sure everything runs well all right three sixteens okay so you'll need to give us a linear for that cove so you can calculate that square feet and then everything else is the area okay and that's your paint and then all of your two by two acoustical ceiling tile and your two by four all right so this is ceiling finishes or it's open but it's going to tell us it's open but everything here appears to be all paint and the reflective ceiling plan what is going to show you the height of the ceiling and then the finish on the ceiling Right, so uh, any questions about this, make sure you uh, put it in the, uh, the comment section here and I'll make sure to answer and please make sure to subscribe and to like and look for coming up uh, next, wall finishes and then we're gonna end with the floor finishes and I will see you soon.